Hey, what's up guys? I'm Ryan from Extreme Terrain and today I'm here with Barricade's Trail Force HD front bumper for your 2018 and up Wrangler JL. This is gonna be for anyone looking to change up the appearance and add some utility to their JL with a winch compatible bumper without breaking the bank and prefers a look of a standard width over a stubby. This is a great functional upgrade over the plastic bumper and not only is it gonna be stronger than the stock, it's gonna be slightly shorter, sit higher and it's tapered at the ends. This is gonna clear up that area in front of the wheel which is gonna give you a better approach angle and really come in handy on those trails. And it's gonna be one of your most affordable options on the site. At around $300, I think it's pretty reasonable considering what you're getting. This is an easy bolt-on that comes as a complete kit, so there's no modification or drilling required. And as far as install goes, I'm gonna give it a one out of three wrenches since you can install this in around an hour using simple hand tools. With that being said, let's hop into the install. To begin this installation, we're gonna to need to remove our factory bumper. We're gonna begin with the air dam underneath. There's a series of pop clips that we'll have to use a screwdriver or a trim panel removal tool. And there's two screws that we're gonna use an eight millimeter socket for. All right, so we have eight of these push pins all the way across the bottom. We're gonna just take and pop the center out. And that's gonna release that clip. So once you get the last screw out of the bottom, you're ready to pull the whole shield off. So next we're going to take off this metal shield using a 16 millimeter socket. You're going to have one bolt on either side. After you get those bolts off, you can lift this up and it'll slide right off. So next we're gonna unplug our fog light harness. It's located here on the passenger side frame rail. We're just gonna press this tab in. And then we can disconnect our plug. So after we have our fog light harness unplugged, you're ready to remove the four nuts on both ends of the frame rail. We're gonna use an 18 millimeter socket to do this. So the last thing to disconnect before we pull our bumper off, there's gonna be two push pins, one on either side on the top of the frame rail. <clears throat> we'll need to pop those out with a screwdriver and then we can pull our bumper off.
With everything disconnected, you can remove your stock bumper. So we have our stock bumper uninstalled. We're just about ready to install our new Trail Force bumper. However, I just want to go over some of the differences and features that you get from the new bumper compared to the stock. So first off, the stock bumper is plastic. This is great for the aesthetic appearance. However, functionality and strength, it's not going to do too well. This bumper is heavy duty. It's made of 530 seconds steel. So it's going to add a ton of strength to the front end and it's going to handle any impacts that you may hit on the trail. The next thing, this has two inch tubing for a brush guard. This is gonna protect your grill on your new JL. It also has light tabs on it so you can add auxiliary lights. This is gonna be great for nighttime driving and on the trails. You can also fit factory LEDs. Now at this point in time, they only fit the LEDs. They won't fit the halogen lights. However, you can swap that over along with the harness. This comes with two D-ring mounts, which are gonna be great for recovery points in those sticky situations. And it comes with a built-in winch plate that'll handle a variety of winches up to 1,200 pounds. This is also powder coated, so it's gonna stand up to the elements while being outside. Now with that being said, let's switch over these fog lights and get this installed. So since our factory bumper has LED fog lights, we're gonna switch them over to our barricade bumper. We're gonna to have to take these plastic covers off of the end. So you're going to have six of these push pins. You can use a flathead screwdriver, just pop up the center and this cover will come off. So now we're gonna disconnect our fog light and then we're gonna remove these four screws using a seven millimeter socket. So we're just gonna push down on this clip and unplug that. Then we can take these screws out. We're gonna do the same thing for the other side, starting with these clips. Plug our light and use that same seven millimeter to remove the four screws. So if you are planning on using your LED fog lights, you'll not only need to remove the fog lights, you'll need to get the harness out of the bumper. Now to do that, we're gonna have to take this cover off and then we'll have to split the bumper apart to get the harness out. So the first thing we're gonna start, we're just gonna remove all these push pins out of this front section.
So now that we have that frame cover off, that's gonna expose these top bolts. So we're gonna go around and use a seven millimeter. We're gonna have to remove all these top ones and then all these bottom sections will be able to split the bumper apart. So all the screws out, we can separate the two halves. You're gonna have to finagle these hooks out of there. After you get those two sections apart, we're just gonna pop this harness out. So we're ready to install our fog light. So we're gonna use the supplied hardware. For this, you'll need a seven millimeter wrench and a Phillips head screwdriver. So now that we have our fog lights installed, we're ready to install our bumper. So now using the supplied hardware, we're gonna place a flat washer, a lock washer, and then a nut. Do the same thing for the stud above it. For the inside, we're gonna do a washer, lock washer, a nut for the bottom stud. Up top, you're gonna use the supplied bolt. We're gonna put a lock washer and a washer on there. So after you have all your hardware on, we're going to go around and tighten everything up with an 18 millimeter socket.
So at this point in time, since we're reusing the factory LED fog lights, we're gonna route and plug our harness that we pulled from the factory bumper. So we're going to pass this side up and over the frame rail. <coughs> and we're going to plug in a light. And then we can connect it to our harness. So after you have your fog lights installed, you're going to want to zip tie that excess wire up and make sure that these D-rings are tight. However, that wraps up my review and install of Barricade's Trail Force HD front bumper. For more videos like this, check us out at ExtremeTerrain.com.